What's up, Sneaky Nation? Welcome back to Week 8 against the San Francisco 49ers in Wembley Stadium. We are in London, England, guys. I absolutely love that they put this stadium into this game. I wasn't quite sure if they were going to do it. I know the Jaguars are actually scheduled to play the next, like, at least one game in the next three or four seasons over in England. Um, I don't know if Madden put those in the game as well, but I'm really excited they put this one in because it's definitely a unique opportunity. We're not going to have many chances to play here, so I am glad they added the stadium. I think it's going to be a fun game. Obviously, it's going to be a very tough game as well as the San Francisco 49ers are one of the best teams in the NFL. And as some of you may know, they are my favorite team, so a little bittersweet going against them here. Uh, i definitely like for the Jaguars to pick up a win. But I never like to see the 49ers lose. It's in my blood. I hate it. But we'll see what we can do. It's going to be a tough game. We're on a losing streak right now, so we're going to need to turn this around quickly. As you see, Kaepernick starting at quarterback for the 49ers. We are going to have to watch out for his speed. I haven't played a, uh, a quarterback that can run the ball like him in quite some time now. Look at those uh, running backs. So many good ones. And I'm really excited about the future of Marcus Lattimore. I can't wait to see what he can do as we go down the wide receiver list. Quentin Patton, who's come on strong lately. Vernon Davis and Vance McDonald at tight end. And look at this. They have Derek Carrier, who has 89 speed. Where was he when I was trying to sign somebody? I could have used that. Uh, looks like Staley's hurt, but they have E.U. Potty, Jonathan Goodwin, Alex Boone, and Anthony Davis at the other uh, offensive line positions. And then Tank Carradine, a guy I like a lot. I think he is going to be pretty good as well. And look at this trade they made. They traded Chris Culver for uh, Peco. Pico? I think it's Peco, but I'm not quite sure. But that's an interesting trade. I think it's actually a really good one for the 49ers. They have a lot of cornerback depth, as we are about to see. So to kind of see them get a defensive tackle who's really big and can take up some space, that's perfect for their defense. Uh, they signed Michael Huff. It's a little interesting. I kind of wanted to see more of Eric Reed, but, you know, they're doing their own thing, so... Anyway, I hope I can see uh, Quentin Patton get some kicks here. But Scobie kicking us off, guys. Let's see what we can do. Looks like Michael, well, Michael James is going to get this one. And he takes it out past the 20-yard line. Gets to about the 25-yard line before he's going to get taken down. Kaepernick dropping back on the first play of the game. This is what I was worried about right off the bat. A juke move, too. And he's breaking two tackles. My goodness, Kaepernick goes for 27 yards on the opening play. That is not a good omen of things to come. And I was kind of worried about that coming into this game. And sure enough, right off the bat, we are going to sack him on a clutch third down. Mincy making the play, though. So the 49ers are going to have to punt it. Jaguars D holding strong after giving up a 27-yard run. They forced him uh, three and out after that play. So that was nice. little three-yard run up the middle there by Robinson. Then he gets stuffed. So it's going to be third and ten. Scott on the right side. And that one is going to be completed to Cecil Shorts for about seven yards. So three shy of the first down. 49ers getting the ball back. Kaepernick now on second and six. Gives it over to Vernon Davis on the right side. It's going to be third and four for the 49ers. Kaepernick pressure's coming. And again on third down, they sack him. Thomas making the play this time. And two third downs in a row. The uh, Jaguars have gotten a sack. Harbaugh is not happy with that by the offensive line. Now Matt Scott's doing his best Kaepernick impression. Gets about seven on the play there. Scott again running to the outside. He's going for the first and he gets it. Huge play there by Matt Scott. Two in a row. Nice runs there. And then Robinson, if he cut inside, might have been able to get some more yards. Instead, he only picks up three. He's going to get drilled as he tries to make the catch on the next play. Third and seven here over the middle. And Brock is going to get the interception for this 49ers defense. Brock has been so good this year for the 49ers making plays like that. And sure enough, he steps up there again. Frank Gore on the left side runs into Thomas. Thomas is having a nice game filling in right now. Vernon Davis on the left side breaks a few tackles. Comes up just shy of the first down, but Frank Gore will pick it up on the next play. And he had a nice block there by Jonathan Baldwin. So first and ten for the 49ers. Frank Gore with a nice little cut inside or to the outside. I'm sorry. And he'll pick up another first down. 27 yards on four carries for him. Kaepernick on the left side. Finds Vernon Davis. Davis picks up two. Second and eight. A little handoff to Frank Gore here. He's juking and weaving. Picks up about five on the play. Third and three. And the Jaguars defense holds strong. Mincy making the stop. And Phil Dawson is going to kick this one through the uprights to give the 49ers a 3-0 lead. Jaguars trying to score here. And that was a risky pass. Robinson cannot come down with it. Second and 10 now over the middle. Finds Chris Owusu has been so good. That's his first grab of the day, though. Matt Scott dropping back over the middle. 
Almost intercepted again. Luckily, it was Ray McDonald back there and not a cornerback or a linebacker to make that play. Kaepernick slides down after a two-yard gain, second and eight. Kaepernick on the right side finds Vernon Davis again, and he's thrown a lot of shorter passes today, I've noticed. Third and three here. Gore is going to get stuffed, and Brian Roll making the stop. He has been so good for me lately. Second and 12 now for the... Uh, Jaguars and Chris Owusu over the middle. A huge gain. 38 yards on two catches for him. He is definitely our big play receiver. He's been making it happen all year long, and that was no different. Then Matt Scott with the run dives for about four extra yards there. Matt Scott dropping back. Pressure is coming. Justin Smith sacks him. Luckily, the Jaguars recover. Justin Smith, the Cowboy, is just a force to be reckoned with. Scott again trying to get on the outside, and once again, Smith making the stop. Third and 19. To Blackman on the left side, picks up five, not going to be enough for a first down. So low scoring game here early on as Frank Gore only picks up a yard there. Then he goes right up the middle, untouched. Huge gain there by Frank Gore of about 20 yards. First and 10, Kaepernick dropping back on the right side, finds Jonathan Baldwin. And he picks up about eight on the play, second and two, Kaepernick. He might run it here. He is going to run it. Luckily, Pulsluzny uh, was there to stop him. Then Frank Gore on the left side. Another third down stand by this Jaguars defense. They've kind of been impressing me. Chris Owusu cannot hold on to the ball over the middle there, though. And then that one's going to be batted down. Third and ten. Matt Scott dropping back. Finds Clay Harbor, who held on to the ball for the first down. I'm so used to him dropping passes now. I was shocked when he pulled it down. Then Chris Owusu had a six-yard uh, reception. Then uh, to the left side, Robinson could not get the first, but he does on the next play. Nice little rush there by Robinson up the middle. He's going to get stuffed by Patrick Willis on that one. Second and nine, Robinson again up the middle, nowhere to go. Third and seven now. Scott's going to try to run it, and he avoids the defender, dives another first down for Matt Scott. 34 yards on five carries for him. This one's going to be juggled, almost intercepted by Patrick Willis. He could not come down with it, though. Scott's going to try to run again, and he's not going to escape Alden Smith in that possession. There's no way. Third and 15, and then Chris Owusu, another huge catch for the first down. First and 10. Jaguars can take the lead if they get a touchdown here, and a nice play there by the 49ers to trip him up. Tebow comes in for a play now. Tebow's going to have to play a few plays. He throws it down the field and Michael Huff gets the interception. Scott got hurt on that run. Tebow comes in and his first pass is intercepted. That is not what you want to see, especially if you're Tim Tebow trying to prove yourself and get more time. Um, an interception there. Kaepernick is going to run it and pick up a first down. About 13 yard run there. They have just over 40 seconds to get into scoring position here. Jaguars defense needs to hold strong. Do not let the 49ers put more points up on the board, and that is what I'm talking about. Third and 17 now for the 49ers, and the Jaguars are going to hold strong, and it is going to start the second half with the ball now. Robinson on the right side picks up eight, second and two. Scott is back in the game, luckily, and he finds Cecil Shorts for a nice grab. 21 yards on two catches for him. Scott dropping back and then wide open over the middle. He finds Chris Owusu, another play. Then Scott is going to get sacked by Tremaine Brock. He is having a huge game for this 49ers team. Then Michael Huff gets his second interception of the day. So maybe they were right to sign him. Eric Reed would be in that spot otherwise, and I have faith in Reed, but... He is a rookie. I don't know. Those were two great plays by Michael Huff there, even though they were kind of throwing right at him. But don't say that. Um, then Michael Crabtree on the left side with a huge gain. First and 10 for the 49ers in Jaguars territory. Vernon Davis with about a two-yard reception there. And they've been throwing it to Davis on a lot of short passes. It's weird. Mincy, his second sack of the day. Kaepernick drops back, and Baldwin cannot hold on to the ball. So the Jaguars are going to get the ball back. Deep in their territory, and Robinson with a nice run there. It's not often we get those 10-yard runs with our offensive line. So I always get excited to see that. And then Robinson had some room there. He just missed it. And then a horrible pass by Matt Scott looking for Justin Blackman. Just way overthrew him. Cecil Shorts picks up the first down, though. A nice reception there. 43 yards on three catches for him. This is his best game he has had in quite some time for us. And then Robinson on the left side picks up seven. They're just giving it to Robinson again. He runs into a plethora of 49ers players. Then Dickerson, Doran Dickerson on the left side will pick up the first down after a six-yard reception. Scott's going to try to run it, but the Cowboy is there to meet him, his second sack of the game. And then Alden Smith getting an interception. Now, these turnovers are killing the Jaguars. The Jaguars' defense has played great so far, but the offense has let us down big time, just not playing well. Then Frank Gore breaks away. 
Oh, he's still going. Demetrius McCray will finally bring him down, but a huge run there by Frank Gore, breaking like three or four tackles on the play. Then right up the middle again, he's going to get nine yards. Second and one, Frank Gore runs into Pelosny and just kind of bowls him over. Latulale makes the stop, though. On the right side, Kendall Hunter picked up a yard. Second and nine, a pass to Kendall Hunter. And the screen pass is going to go in for the touchdown. Kendall Hunter making the play. So many running backs on this uh, San Francisco team that can make plays. And uh, that's, again, not even including Marcus Lattimore or Michael James. So nice play there by Hunter. Second and seven after a three-yard run for the Jaguars. Then Cecil Shorts bringing the Cecil Shorts of old in and dropping the pass. Justin Blackman following suit. Two drops in a row, and that is just not good. This uh, Jaguars offense has been horrid today. It has been so bad. Uh, the defense is holding on pretty strong. They have a few mistakes, but they're, you know, coming off turnovers deep in their own territory. So Kaepernick dropping back and down the right side, he finds Crabtree for a huge gain. 46 yards on three receptions for him. Frank Gore with a little juke move picks up about five on the play. Second and five for the 49ers. And then Frank Gore with huge blocks in front of him picks up another first down. First and 10, Kaepernick finds ball or... I'm sorry, Bolden, who cannot hold on to the ball there. And then Frank Gore gets stuffed after about a six-yard gain. Third and four. This is going to be a big play for the Jaguars' defense. They need to hold strong, and they do. Holding them to another field goal. Brian Roll making the stop. And that field goal is going to go through the upright. So it's a two-possession game. The Jaguars are not out of this yet. If they can get a touchdown here, there's definitely going to be enough time to uh, stop the Niners and get the ball back. But the offense is going to need to do something it has not done yet, and that is go down the field and put points up on the board. Robinson looking pretty good so far this drive, though. He's following his blocks, finding the holes. He got stuffed there, but he had a few nice runs previously. It's going to bring up third and long here. Third and nine. Scott dropping back over the middle. He finds Cecil Shorts for the first down into San Francisco territory. Scott dropping back, and then he backs up into Robinson, which did not give him the room to kind of throw the ball over the defenders there. Uh, third and six. Scott dropping back. And wide open, he finds Justin Blackman, who breaks a tackle down to about the 23-yard line. And then Robinson, nice little run up the middle, picks up three, second and seven here. Play action, and if he had just handed it off, he could have gone for a big gain. Third and nine, Scott dropping back, pressure's coming. He finds Blackman, he holds onto the ball for the first down. Three receptions, 32 yards for him. Robinson gets stuffed here. The Jaguars are taking up too much time on this drive, though. It's just under four minutes to go. Chris Owusu cannot get into the end zone. It's going to be fourth and one. The Jaguars are going for it. And Chris Owusu into the end zone. Touchdown, Jaguars. And this is considered a home game for us. I don't know why the 49ers have their uh, emblem plastered all over the end zone there. But anyway... Jaguars need to get a three and out stop here, and that is not good. Baldwin with a huge reception. It's 28 yards on two catches for him. Kaepernick dropping back on the right side. Crabtree, and he is gone. He breaks the tackle. The 10-5 touchdown, Michael Crabtree. He is so dangerous, and all the Jaguars had to do was stop the Niners, and they could not do it. The defense crumbled when they needed to step up the most. All game long, they've been pretty good, but this was the wrong moment, I mean, really. And then Crabtree will catch the two-point conversion. The wrong moment to have a breakdown, a missed tackle. Crabtree broke it, and he was off. Chris Owusu with a nice little uh, catch there, but it is too little too late at this point. Scott is going to run it up the right side. A huge game by Scott. That was really nice. 52 yards on seven uh, rushes for him. Scott again trying to run it. He has nowhere to go, though. Scott dropping back second and 13. Again, he throws it into his lineman's back. That's just not a good play to make. A Sanders on the left side will pick up the uh, catch there. And then over the middle, it is not going to be complete. And the 49ers are going to take over with about a minute 36 left. All they have to do is run this clock out. 54 seconds left. Uh, Jaguars should stop them from putting more points up on the board. Just kind of save grace, and they will do that, it looks like, unless Frank Gore breaks off a huge run. He does not. So the Jaguars are falling to the 49ers. Ah, sorry, I got the hiccups. 21-7. to um, You know, it's a little bit better than I thought. I'm kind of proud of our defense this game. Outside of that Crabtree play, our defense really played pretty well they only gave up one touchdown which was the offense's fault for an interception and the 49ers started off with good field position so defense kind of stepped up I like that Alton Smith three sacks and an interception killing the Jaguars uh, but again the offense just struggled mightily today four interceptions I believe 
I think it was four. Tremaine Brock, two by Huff, one by Alden Smith. Yeah, four interceptions. Um, you know, Matt Scott was getting sacked left and right. There was just not much to be happy about offensively. 20 of 35, 224 yards, 50.2 quarterback rating, uh, completion 51. One interception or one touchdown to three interceptions and Tebow, one pass and an interception. Ugh. I don't know, man. We need we need to get this offense straight. Denard Robinson, three yards a carry. And again, our offensive line is just not really good at opening holes for our running backs. We need to improve the offensive line in the offseason for sure. Chris Owusu, eight catches and 107 yards with a touchdown. He has been so good. Cecil Shorts, his best game for us in quite some time. Four catches, 55 yards. Still a little bit of a disappointment, though, but... Drops, two by Denard Robinson, one by Awusu, one by Blackman, one by Shorts. This is unacceptable. A lot of those were in third down situations. Um, the good news of this game is we have gotten the hard part of our schedule out of the way. The first eight games are really difficult, and the second eight games that we have are going to be considerably easier. Now, there's still a tough matchup or two there, but I do think we'll be able to get our record up, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Later.